Hello and welcome to this channel. Today I will be presenting to you the Gantt chart in unit 1.7 of business management. So in this unit, I already have videos of the fishbone diagram, the decision tree, and the force field analysis. And today will be the last video about the Gantt chart. So about the Gantt chart, it's a visual representation of all activities and tasks of a particular project plotted against the time scale. So it is basically the schedule for all the tasks in a project. This helps project managers determine how long a project should take to complete. So what you will need for this Gantt chart, uh, for this tool, is all the activities of a particular project in your business and uh, yeah, all the tasks. And uh, knowing your sequential and parallel tax, tasks and what is meant by that is that you have to know which tasks can be um, are allowed to be working on at the same time or which task has to be done um, before another before another um, particular task can um, can be started with um, and also the projected time for each task so now I'll show you an example, uh, the example for my IA actually in business. So you'll see the time scale here in the first row and then the, all the different tasks in the, in the first column here. And then you see, you'll see the dates. I did it with, um, I think, I believe 15 days. Um, each, each box is 15 days. And then you'll see here how much time the, the colored boxes are how much time um, it should take for the tasks to be completed and what i meant before with sequential and um, sequential and parallel activities or tasks and um, this is meant so the introduction to my ia and the research proposal could be done and worked on at the same time but for example you can clearly see that um, for me to be able to start with the conclusion with my conclusion, I will have to have done the full analysis of my research, as you can see here with the with the boxes. So the advantages and disadvantages of this tool. So the first advantage is that um, it the, the showing of dependency between tasks to minimize the time needed for the project, and by this is also meant the sequential and parallel activities. So the managers can exactly see which tasks has to be done when, and this makes it more efficient, the whole process. Um, a negative or a disadvantage would be that there is no necessary correlation between the amount of work and resources needed for each activity and the length of the bar. So this can be very misleading if you think about it. Um, as the, the bigger the, the bar is, the more you'll think that you'll also have, there's also way much, way more work to do, but this has actually nothing to do with work or resources that need, uh, um, that you need for this prod, uh, for this task. It only has to do with the timeline and when it will be done or when it is projected to be done. So it can be misleading and it does not tell you how much work is uh, needed to be done. Uh, the second advantage would be it's a, appropriate for a wide range of applications. For example, production processes, you know, scheduling pro production processes or holiday schedules. So you can take this scan chart for literally anything, any project really, um, to plan it better. Um, and a disadvantage would be that there's the need for regular updating and modifications. So you'll constantly have to be working on, on it. Um, and in my before example, I also had to constantly be working and modifying certain things with it. The third advantage would be that setting of realistic deadlines for all tasks within the project, meaning that th this, this setting of realistic deadlines gives you a better perspective, a better view of, of when the task might be might be able to be done, uh, which is really good for for the planning of managers and um, for the workers as they know exactly when this task should be done. 
Another disadvantage though would be that it is too simple for two complex complex projects. You could see before that the, the Gantt chart is very simple um, analysis really. There's no lot of description and so on. So for complex projects, it's, it might be not, um, there, there might be more context needed for the whole Gantt chart thing. Uh, another advantage or the last advantage on this side is that it is simple for interpretation and understanding. So this ties in with the disadvantage from before. Um, in this case, it's an advantage because it is so simple for, for others to understand and for business partners to see. Um, this is also a benefit. A disadvantage would be that it is all based on the estimated time needed for each task, meaning that um, if, if there's a if one estimation of a task is very skew, skewed and very biased or very wrong, um, then then this can lead to this can lead to the whole the modifying of the whole the whole thing. Basically, they are all dependent on each other, and if there's something wrong, then often the whole thing is a bit skewed. On the next side. Um, Please ignore the last set of advantage and disadvantage. It's the same thing as on the side before. But the first advantage would be allows for monitoring and appropriate modification from the managers. So on the other hand, you also have the advantage that the managers can actually monitor um, and do appropriate modifications to this to this Gantt chart, which will help all the workers at the end because when they go, go through the process of this project, and then they notice something is a bit um, different as they envisioned themselves it to be. Um, it doesn't have to be negative. It can also be that it's way faster than they thought it, it will take. Then these managers can um, redo a bit the timelines or, or take another task in and so on, which will make it um, more clearer for the workers and for everyone involved. The last disadvantage here on the right, though, it's is that it's not enough details and inf information provided for more complex projects. So this also ties in with the other, with the other disadvantage. Um, complex projects, um, this this chart is a bit too simple for a, for the explanation and the planning of a whole complex project. And yeah, that's really it. Thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you in my next video.